the Seattle Seahawks and 2020 NFL training camp has started. All of us on the New York Jets Weekly Run of Episode 16. Let's get started. Jamal Adams gets traded to the Seattle Seahawks. The New York Jets get in return for Jamal Adams a 2021 first round draft pick, a 2022 first round draft pick, 2021 third round pick, and strong safety Bradley McFeudal. And the Seahawks get Jamal Adams and a 2022 fourth round draft pick. The New York Jets absolutely stole from the Seattle Seahawks in this pick. Uh, New York Jets obviously getting two first round draft picks and safety Bradley McFeudal. He's a very good starting caliber player. Um, what he will be bringing is a very good, you know, corner presence, a very good, you know, safety presence. Like, by that, I mean, like, he's a very, he, Jamal Adams is the off-the-ball type of linebacker, not really going for the interceptions and the passing, defending plays. He was more of that rushing safety, going to tap kind of safety. You know, that's probably why he probably won't ever win the Defensive Player of the Year award. Mostly because to win it, I mean, if you're a safety, you're going to have to be playing like a safety, not just like a linebacker. Um, Bradley McDonald, he has a lot of those interception kind of plays, those defending plays against the ball. So that's very exciting that he's bringing that to the table. Um, so, yeah. Now, it is questionable because, you know, a bunch of teams might be looking to be like, hey, I just want to get rid of these draft picks for the 2021 draft because people be – because, you know – you don't know how it's going to be. There might, because there's rumors of a, you know, the SEC, Pac-12, and the Big 12 are all, are like not playing out of conference games this year. So, yeah. And Bradley McDonald is pretty much doing what Jamal Adams has already done. Recruiting players to the Jets. He was recruiting, debating Clowney to the Jets, and Clowney was like, hey, yo, man, come and pick me up. But... Uh, it is, but Rich and Minnie over on ESPN said that Jets have no interest in signing Javadian Clowney, but Connor Hughes of The Athletic said that the Jets have a little interest, kind of, sort of that thing. So we don't really know what his interest is. Uh, New York Jets commenter, good buddy on Instagram, said that um, whatever Mancha says, he believes the opposite. So <laughs> just like if Mancha says, Jets have interest, we don't have interest. Well, what if we don't have interest? We definitely have interest. Uh, that kind of thing. But yeah, let's get on to the next piece of news. On July 28th, training camp officially started. Uh, we saw players such as Le'Veon Bell, Connor McGovern, Frank Gore, uh, Alex Lewis, or so many players arriving to training camp. You know, you had Le'Veon Bell with his training camp great. Connor McGovern with that one wheel hoverboard thing. I still don't know what it's called. And you also have Alex Lewis with a freaking face mask. No, not a face mask, a gas mask. Like he's from Stranger Things going into the Upside Down to recover Will. It's like, what? But, um, yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, so, yeah. And uh, players to, like, have opted out for the Jets. Uh, you have center Leo Colangamanti opted out. And also uh, DB's Bryce Hall and Shine Carter were put on the COVID-19 reserve list meaning they could have possibly been exposed to the coronavirus. So they, they haven't opted out of the season, but they they either have coronavirus or a family member or a friend or someone close to them, or they went to an event where about 10 people or someone got a coronavirus. Anyway, possible they could have gotten exposed, they get put on this list. Linebacker Ahim Gooden was placed on the reserve COVID-19 list, meaning he got exposed to it. Running back Jalen Moore, who said he's retiring this week, got placed on the reserve slash retire list. In my knowledge, the, the guy is pretty young, but it might be one of those situations where he just never got a shot at the NFL and he wants to do something else with his life besides sitting on a bench forever. I mean, I wouldn't want to just sit on a bench for like ever, and there's no preseason this year too, so he probably wouldn't be able to get to play. On July 30th, the New York Jets placed quarterback Joe Flacco, tight end Ryan Griffin, and linebacker Avery Williamson on the active slash PUP list. And tight end Dan- Daniel Brown has been placed on the active NFIL list. And defensive lineman Dominic Davis has been released. 
The PUP, the PUP list, whatever you want to call it, means physically unable to perform. Quarterback Joe uh, Flacco, I was about to say Joe Burrow, um, had in some neck problems last year. I don't know if he might have broke it. He had surgery on it. I don't know. Uh, tied in Ryan Griffin, had like a hamstring injury or something, a leg injury last year, and still isn't healthy. And linebacker Avery Williamson towards ACL. Now, these players aren't physically able to perform right now. Um, I do believe that they are at the facility. Well, at least I know Williamson is. I don't know about Flacco and Griffin, but I really do think they are. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty positive they can uh, be promoted to active. I mean, there is active in front of the, the little P, physically unable to perform. So maybe they can be promoted active. And tight end Daniel Brown has been placed on the active, such so a non-football injury list. Meaning he probably got like a non-football injury, like he could have broke his arm or like has a headache or a bad headache or something. I don't really know what that means either. But uh, Dominic Davis, a uh, junior jet signed out of Division Two UNC Pembroke, has been waived. Uh, he was an undrafted free agent signed out the Jets and apparently wasn't good enough to make the team. Or we're waving a guy to make one for Javadian and Cloudy. No, we're not. But um, anyway, who knows? Hi, editing me here. Uh, big, big news. This is major news. This is sad news, heartbreaking news. CJ Mosley opts out of the 2020 season due to ha family health concerns. Why? Um, CJ Mosley, Jets star linebacker, signs a five-year, $17.5 million deal in 2019. Gets hurt his first year, opts out of their second year. Man, this is so annoying. We only have three years to see CJ Mosley fully play. Um, now, I'm not saying this is horrible because we do have Avery Williamson and Patrick Anunsar, uh, both starting caliber players and very good linebackers. Um, the Jets also have two first-round draft picks, so watch us trade for a good linebacker, which I doubt will happen because we already have Avery Williamson, who's very good, may I say, and Patrick Anunsar. We also have very good uh, middle linebacker Dev. So I don't think we're in that big of a hole here, but I mean, CJ Mosley was so good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you are returning, welcome back. Love having you here. If this is your first time watching the New York Jets News Channel, hope you enjoyed your experience and you might have considered subscribing. Where have I been? Uh, my phone broke, as I said earlier, and that's the only thing I can record on. So, yeah, I mean, I can't record on my laptop. Screen's all fuzzy and I don't know. It just didn't look good and everything. Um, as you can see, I have Andy Bernard right here to go complete my collection. Um, it's not really, so what I, what I wanted to do is uh, get every person in the office who has a pop, so like every office member, and whenever like a new person from the show gets a pop, I will h try to hunt it down and get it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, as always, go Jets.